always been massive. I mean, it's beyond my expectation. This shows that people are actually feeling the heat. And uh, it's been massive, it's been successful so far. And we are praying that we we'll get to our des destination in peace. So you are very keen for the, uh, for the health sector. We've seen the development in, with kidney dialysis, the cost and all of that. What's your take on that? It's unconscionable for any government to ask to push its citizens into the grief, early grief. It's unconscionable. You know, renal our patients are such that if it gets to a stage where they need the services of um, dialysis services and they don't get it within one week, two weeks, they are just signing their dead warrants like that. So any responsible government must not put impediment in place to prevent people from getting these critical services. But unfortunately, this is what the current government is doing. The impediment they have put in place to prevent people from assessing dialysis care is amazing. Now, now there are taxes on there are taxes on dialysis. There are taxes on consumables. There are, there are, there, they've removed the, the procurement cover and now they are intending to charge more than 765 Ghana cities per the service of a dialysis. Who can afford that? Even me as a member of parliament, if you do the mathematics, what it means is that you need more than 2,000 Ghana cities a week, you need more than 9,000 Ghana cities a month, and even me as a member of parliament cannot afford. So what are you saying? What you are basically saying is that a lot of people you are, push a lot of people into their grave. And so I think that whatever it takes for government to expand the assets and to make sure that that services is heavily subsidized should be in the right order. Should be in the right. And that is what Ghanaians need at the moment. Just finally on the protest, um, I understand you want to take a petition to the Bank of Ghana headquarters. Yeah. But there's a parameter in which you have to stop. Uh, what's the modality going to be like? Well, we have been given route by the organizers, and so we'll go as far as to that point that we need to go. But what we have demanded is that our leadership must be given the opportunity to go and present the petition to the governor. And that should not be too much to ask. We are members of parliament, we are not criminals. Nobody in his right senses will think that members of parliament will go and loot the Bank of Ghana or will go and set the Bank of Ghana ablaze. I mean, we are members of parliament, we are responsible people, we represent our people. And so at least the leadership of parliament must be allowed to go and present a petition to uh, uh, the governor.